Okay, so if you're playing some blues music or some more experimental music, you may want to use notes outside of your normal scale. If we're playing a piece of music in C, it's all the white notes on the keyboard. So if I'm playing a music in C and I want to play a note, add one of the black notes, okay, a blues note, an accidental note, I need to add a symbol to that note to let the performer know they are not playing a note from within that scale. What I just said may or may not have made sense, but what we're looking at here is how do I spot that on a piece of notation. So this is a piece of music in D major and it has an F sharp and facing the space, F A C, it has a C sharp. So all my C's and all my F's are going to be sharps. Let's say I wanted the performer to play a natural C, so the white note as opposed to the black note, the sharp note. I would add what's called a natural sign, which is this symbol here. Okay, so I just add that to this note, and then the performer knows that this is a C natural. So this note is a C natural. If I don't have the natural sign, then that will be a C sharp. And I know it's a C sharp because of the key signature. If I add a natural, that becomes a C sharp. I might play an F, but in my key, all the Fs are sharp. Facing the space, this is F. So this note here would be an F sharp. I then want to go down the semitone. So I'll add another F, but I'll have the natural sign on it. So this just becomes a normal F. Okay? A white note F, not the sharp black note, a white note of F. So that's how accidentals work. Accidentals can also be sharps or flats. So my A's are normal A's. If I wanted to add an A sharp, I would write my A note and I'd add a sharp sign to my A note. So that becomes an A sharp because I've added a sharp note there. If I wanted to play an E flat, so here's an E, here's an E, I want to make that an E flat, I add a little flat sign to that note and that becomes E flat.